Buffalo's renaissance is gaining attention all across the country, and so is the Buffalo Philharmonic Orchestra. The musicians have signed a long-term contract, finances are stable, and the future looks upbeat. It's a turnaround that many credit to the steady hand of Buffalo's maestro. Rehearsal for Brahms Requiem, featuring the Buffalo Philharmonic Orchestra and Chorus. To be in the middle of this force field of music and to feel the vibrations, and I do feel them, I feel them through the floor. And to be hearing the sound around me, it's, it's the most beautiful experience I can imagine. The beautiful experience that lifts audiences from the stage of Kleinhans Music Hall has lifted the fortunes of Buffalo's 80-year-old symphony orchestra. And many credit the talented woman on the podium, maestro Joanne Folletta. She's the visionary. She's putting it all together. She has something in mind about where she wants to take this orchestra, and she's been doing that since the day she got here, probably 18 years ago. I once said, see, Joanne is so good in this community. I think of her as the best ambassador that Buffalo has. Buffalo's ambassador began her musical journey decades ago, growing up in Queens, where her parents gave her a classical guitar. Yes, I remember when I received my first little classical guitar and just playing the open strings at the age of seven. I thought was amazing and beautiful, fantastic sound, the open strings of the guitars. There were some, but not many, female conductors as Folletta studied and picked up the baton. She says she couldn't have predicted her path would lead her to become what the New York Times has called one of the finest conductors of her generation. But you don't know where the path is going to lead. You really don't. And maybe there's something quite magical about that too. Magic is what Folletta has brought to the BPO over the years. Everything from concerts across the community and trips to Carnegie Hall to an international guitar competition and winning Grammy Awards and acclaim. I'm also very proud of the fact that because of our CDs and our radio broadcasts, we're heard all over the world. People who will never be in Buffalo hear the Buffalo Philharmonic. And they know we have a great city because we have a great orchestra. It's hard to imagine there's a community leader in Western New York who has traveled more, accomplished more, and been more highly honored than Joanne Folletta. And she earns much applause for helping restore the orchestra to financial help. We're very lucky here in Buffalo that, that we have a, a community that really cares about the arts and cares about this orchestra. And I think Joanne is just like the, the keystone to that. Her energy level is amazing. Just that things that, I mean, her enthusiasm for music and all, type, all types of music. Folletta credits the Buffalo audience for accepting, appreciating, and supporting the broad range of the BPO. We feel that people of Buffalo know about the BPO. They cherish it. They care about the musicians personally and as, as a group. And that gives us a lot of flexibility, a lot of support, a lot of courage to, to take some chances too. Though she and her husband split their time between Buffalo and Norfolk, Virginia, where she's also music director, she's led the BPO since 1999 and has had a close view of the changes in the Queen City. We can take more chances, I think, because Buffalo is changing. Buffalo is growing, but at the same time, we're also gonna be true to the great, the great repertoire that's been played in Kleinhans for the last almost 80 years now. And as Buffalo leans toward the lighter, more energetic tech industry and away from its muscular past, what will become of its taste in music and its support for a Philharmonic Orchestra? So we were here through good and bad times. We were here still playing even when finances were bad, even when the city was troubled. We were here making music. And that is, is what distinguishes us, I think, and that we've always cared about the city and they've always cared about us, good times and bad. And for that, Folletta says she wants to thank Buffalo, a city that has welcomed her at full volume and made her musical dreams come true. And one of the great compliments I get sometimes is people say, I know you were born in Buffalo, weren't you? And I said, no, I was born in New York City. And they say, really, you're just like a Buffalo person. And I, yes, that's a big compliment. 
videographer Josh Roy worked with me on this story. She is very positive about the future of the BPO. She says she sees more young people in the audience now, and that certainly bodes well. I was thinking back watching your report of all the stories we've done when the financial cloud was hanging over the BPO, but now we're seeing some positive changes. Absolutely. And, and again, talking about this broad range for the BPO, for instance, on Friday, the BPO is teaming with the Laird Dance Company out at UB Center for the Arts in a world premiere production. Then on Saturday night, the orchestra is back at Klein Hansen in a program with Itzhak Perlman. So that shows Doesn't you the get much better than that, it, it's it? It's been fantastic, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, they're a real jewel in the crown of the Queen City. We are lucky to have them. No Thank question. You. Good job.